In this tutorial, you will learn how to make your own hair jewelry just to jazz up that updo or that bun. You only need a few items. First things are chopsticks. Whatever color you prefer, I like brown or black. Then you need to pick out some pretty flowers, preferably silk. Also grab yourself a mini hot glue gun. And while you're at it, get mini hot glue gun sticks. You can usually find them at the dollar store. I see these are all purpose. You can use wire cutters or very sharp scissors. I'm going to use scissors today. Now grab the flower by its petal top and cut the flower in half an inch from its base. You can see it's where the top the flower adjoins with the stem. Cut just below that. You want to cut different size flowers, some small, some large. I use two large and two small to begin with, but I end up cutting more later on. Also, cut a few sprigs of leaves to add into your flower bundle. Flowers, they don't have to be the exact same size or shape, just similar. Now load your gun, or your glue gun, sorry, and allow it to get hot. You need to apply about a pea-sized amount of glue, or a little bit larger. Allow the glue to harden just slightly and go over it with a little bit more glue. This will secure your flower in place. Do the same thing with the next flower. You kind of want to place the larger flower opposite side from the other larger flower. I spin it like this. I know it looks strange so that the two flowers glue doesn't drip more to one side or the other. Now it's time to start applying the smaller flowers. I usually put them right in between. I want I kind of want to balance it out between the small flowers and the large flowers. Again, this makes it look a little bit more natural. Now it's time to add some leaves. You don't need to add too many. I just added um, two sprigs. I'll say one sprig and I split it in half. They had like three leaves on each side. You don't want to overdo with the leaves um, because the flowers are the center of attention.
while the glue is still soft, adjust as necessary. Because once it's hardened, it's over. I told y'all I'd end up using more. Here I go. So that's why, you know, you can always cut more if you need more. See, these are the areas I had to fill in. They just look kind of gapped. So I'm going to fill those in with more flowers. So fill yours in as needed. Depending on the flower you choose, you may or may not need to add more. It's totally up to you. Now it's starting to take shape. Allow your glue to harden. Then you want to go back and remove any of those web-like pieces of glue that have dried as you pull the glue gun away. Your, your flowers must be dry before you start doing this or you run the risk of detaching the flower. You can also at this time glam it up a little bit with some rhinestones or jewels. A good glue to use is E600 or any jewel glue will do just fine. Now you can enjoy. Whenever you have an updo, you don't want to use hair pins or hair ties, go right ahead and use your beautiful new chopsticks to hold your hair in place or to adorn your hair. 